This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. One of the key parts of manifesting, though, is believing that you can do it. I'm still really excited to get out of the city and into the woods. This festival feels intimate, it feels family-oriented, and it feels cozy. Hi, I'm Maddie Taylor on YouTube, Maddie in person. And there's a rather perilous slope to get there. I have just been feeling so introverted and so introspective lately and this has been the perfect time to reach out to my therapist, which does bring me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a network of over 20,000 professionally licensed therapists with a broad range of expertise. Since I live on the road full time, this makes regular therapy possible for nomads like myself and for those of you who are interested in working with a therapist from the comfort of your own home, without the stuffy waiting rooms, and without the long drives. BetterHelp assesses your individual needs and then matches you with a professionally licensed therapist who can cater to those needs. It's also more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is offered to those of you who need it. BetterHelp is not self-help, it's not a crisis line, it's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp would like you to start living a happier life today. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Maddie Taylor, that's better H-E-L-P, to join the over 3 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. BetterHelp is offering you guys a special deal today. 10% off your first month of therapy when you go to betterhelp.com slash Maddie Taylor. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, it is 7.15. I just woke up. It's been extremely cold here, so first thing I do is turn on the heater and wait until the van is warm enough to get up. Then I usually brush my teeth while I'm still in bed. The benefits of an 80 square foot house. <laughs> I've been at Northwest Nomads all weekend. It's a van life festival that happens about an hour north of Bend, Oregon. It's been really lovely. I've been surrounded by a bunch of friends and I'm gonna talk more about it later today. But I have decided I'm going to leave very early this morning. I feel like I need at least a week, maybe even two, alone. Completely alone. quickly driven back to Bend, Oregon because I am currently without camping chair. I gifted it to one of my friends and so I am going to run into REI, grab a new one, and then we're driving out of town to go to a place I have never been to, but I am really excited to see. drive ahead of us so we'll get there at about 1.30. The day is kind of getting away from me but I'm still really excited to get out of the city and into the woods. We are officially here. I will say I haven't been entirely honest. I have been to this area. A few videos ago I posted a video about Umpqua Hot Springs but somehow 
I seem to have entirely missed that Tokedi Falls is actually right around the corner. And after having looked at some pictures of it, I've decided that it's something that I absolutely can't miss. When I was looking it up, it says that the prettiest pictures are at the bottom of the falls and there's a rather perilous slope to get there. And so I'm going to try the dog friendly trail with Eliza first, see if she can manage that slope. And if not, we'll have to turn back and then I'll go up alone afterwards. But either way, I'm getting to the bottom of those falls. not at all down for the steep trek to the bottom of the waterfall so I am going to go drop her off at the van and come right back. The descent to the bottom of the falls is not for the faint of heart. It's a steep down climb the entire time with a vertical slope and rope to assist you on the most difficult parts. I felt grateful for my experience in climbing and that I had a cozy van to leave Eliza in while I was out adventuring. Once you get down though, the view is entirely worth it. Eliza and I left the falls and found this place, this wonderful campsite that is free, right next to a river, only 10 minutes away from the falls and five minutes away from the trailhead leading to Umpqua Hot Springs, which is pretty crazy to me. If you guys have never been to Umpqua Hot Springs, it's definitely worth a visit. It's by far the most magical hot springs I have ever been to. It's tucked away deep within this fir forest and it juts out along this cliffside that leads down to a heavily flowing river. Mist rises from the pools while you soak and it's just straight out of a fairy tale. Honestly, this entire place is kind of straight out of a fairy tale. I will say, the quiet here really beautifully contrasts the celebratory and social atmosphere that Northwest Nomads was last week. I am currently at Northwest Nomads, an up and coming van life festival that I had never been to until this weekend. About a month ago, I went to a van life festival called Descend on Bend, which is one of the biggest van life festivals you can go to. I actually made an entire video about that. And this festival, Northwest Nomads, actually only takes place a few miles down the road from where Descend was, but the feeling is entirely different. It's only about an eighth the size of Descend on Bend, with far fewer rigs, but just as much of a variety. This festival feels intimate, it feels family oriented, and it feels cozy, and it's cool outside, and it really does feel like fall. Those first two days of the festival, all I did was edit. I had a video that was due Friday, and so I spent a great deal of my time in my friend Trent's van editing. 
We are editing in Transvan. You guys might know Trent here on YouTube as the fine print or the van life gamer. He has become a very good friend of mine and I am so grateful to have used his office space and his Starlink for internet. So that left me Saturday and Sunday to enjoy the festival. Saturday was also the day that I decided that after the festival, I was going to leave the caravan and do my own thing for at least a week or two before rejoining my friends. That meant that on Sunday, I really wanted to soak in my time. Sunday was special in large part because Sarah gave a wonderful presentation. If you guys have been watching my channel, you'll know that Sarah Yak is one of my best friends and she is the most beautiful, talented creator here on YouTube, on TikTok, and on Instagram. And if you guys aren't giving her a follow on those platforms, I highly recommend you check out her content. At the festival, she gave a presentation on growth on YouTube, and it was so well done. And it feels so rewarding to see all of my hard work being paid off and manifesting a job that I've always dreamed about. One of the key parts of manifesting, though, is believing that you can do it. I think that's what I struggled with for a long time growing up, especially because I was constantly being told by my parents that it wasn't possible. At some point on my journey, I had to put in the work and start rewiring my brain to truly believe that I could be one of the 4% of channels on YouTube that make it above 10,000 subscribers. It's really important that you keep believing in yourself, don't get discouraged, and don't let those limiting beliefs take over. Just keep focusing on making your videos better, building a schedule that works for you, and mastering your own style. About a month ago, she asked me and Trent if we would like to cameo and share our journeys during her speech, and so both of us took turns sharing our stories. Hi, I'm Maddie Taylor on YouTube, Maddie in person, and I started YouTube about a, two years ago, actually, when I got my van. I kind of, it was weird for me when I, got my van at the same time I was like I should start a YouTube and I really had no idea what I was doing I had no experience with any sort of film any cinematography I think I'd taken like one film class in college I was not willing to invest and I didn't have the money to invest on any sort of camera gear and so I had my iPhone 7 and that's what I had I didn't have a mic I also had um, I didn't have a tripod and I didn't have money for a tripod because I was putting all of my savings into my build and so I had a painter's easel that I got for like 20 bucks on Amazon like a few months beforehand and I used two rubber bands to rubber band my iPhone 7 onto this easel and that was my tripod for the first year that I was doing YouTube. <laughs> I just never upgraded. And I saw that a bunch of people were living in their vans traveling across the country and I was like, this sounds like a pretty cool idea. So I bought a van on Craigslist. My brother helped me build it out and I hit the road. And at that point in my life, filmmaking was on the back burner for me. Um, the adventure and these new experiences were on the forefront. And I needed this new change to sort of re-spark some life in me. This was a very important time in my life. And I wanted to document it. I wanted to have something to, to look back on. So I just started picking up my camera and just filming moments, not with any sort of idea of like, making a YouTube video or making a movie out of it. I just started capturing things because I wanted to remember this moment. So my advice for anyone out there, just make what you want to make and just put out there what you want to watch because at the end of the day, I feel like we need to just make videos to just look back on. After the speech, I spend a lot of time laying out in the pine needles next to our vans, spending a little bit of time with each and every person there, but not doing a whole lot of anything else. Anybody want watermelon? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, I'd love some. Of course. Wow, look at that. Thank you so much. But by the time the sun was setting, our entire friend group got together, went down to the BLM land together, and had a time. Where you there? <laughs> this is wild. Can we go back? Who are you? Wow, I Braids, there's braids. Oh my gosh. But he always brings back. Wow. You look like you belong on the back of that. How was it? Alright, hold on. Bye guys! Bye! Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh yeah. How was it getting your license? Was it pretty easy? And now we're here in this forest. Just you, me, and Eliza. I've really loved traveling in Oregon. This place is so special. It's definitely a place I could see myself settling down. Everywhere you go, it feels really magical, from these deep, luscious forests to the coastline, and also the people are just incredible. And I definitely think I'll stay here a while longer. For now, though, I'm getting hungry. Time to make dinner. Now we're here. Hi, Maddie. It's me, Tori. <laughs> yeah. My thing. Hey, Maddie. A group of ten or. Oh. Since you were into motorcycle, guys. Of course, there's barking dogs. Ooh. It's like a lot of barking dogs. So many. Yeah. What? <laughs> I feel like I bit my gum. 745. 745. Just pan Hi. over to toys. This is a nook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just want to remind you guys that I down climbed and climbed that twice to show you. That's the only reason I'm out of breath. 